You boys yeah. look like a weird heavy metal band. <laughs> yes, we are a band. Really? Yeah. So what do you play? Symphonic, post-apocalyptic, reindeer grinding, Christ abusing, extreme war pagan, fennoscandic metal. Right. Really interesting. <laughs> Hello, DJ Nubus. And DJ Neko. Hey, with you on Meltar Radio Podcast, doing another trailer reaction. Very excited for this one. It looked interesting. This one is called In a Violent Nature 2024, directed by Chris Nash. The cast consists of Rye Barrett, Andrea P Pavlik, Cameron Love. And then the plot is an ambient horror slasher that methodically depicts the enig en enigmatic resurrection, rampage, and retribution of the undead monster in a remote wilderness. So this thing's got all huh. sorts of weird shit going on in it. Piqued my interest. Uh, obviously, I have no idea how it's going to be, but you know that's why we're here to do that. Yeah, we want to check out the trailer. Like he always does this to me. He he wants my like actual, like real raw opinion so mm -hmm. and half the time these trailers that he's finding i've never heard of like so let's... Well, i try to stay with new stuff too like you know i try to stay on top of what's people are talking about like joker just came out today or yesterday and we knew it was coming out like we we knew there was going to be a joker um part two part do part do part do oh no i have something in my eye distract me keep talking um yeah we knew there was going to be a joker part two but we didn't really um know and we still really don't know like the plot yeah still. and i feel like when we saw the first joker we didn't know the plot either we just knew like it was well, um we saw the trailer but like it didn't give a lot of plot to it you just saw like who he was right. what he was doing and then how like you didn't know if Batman was way really part of it or anything, so it was just kind of like you just went with whatever they were talking. But you know, you read about it, and people were like, "Yeah, it's more of a serious tone compared to some of the other stuff." But you know, Phoenix did a great job, and it was a good film. Isn't he the older brother of River Phoenix, or was River the older one? Because I remember when River Phoenix died, it was like a big deal. Because it was we were, we were all teenagers. Say, maybe River was the oldest one at the time because River died in the early nineties, mm -hmm. I think. So if River was like a big like teen crush. You know, like when I was younger, you got those magazines, all the hot heart throbs and Tiger Beat and whatever, and it had all the posters in it. I'm sure your sisters did the same thing and. Mm -hmm. Um, I just remember like, and we've seen so many documentaries that are really starting to show how in, in show business, these young teens, you know, I mean, look at, look at what's happening with like P Diddy right now, how these young people are just given access to things and, you know, River, I believe passed away from an overdose yep. and, yep. They are allowed to go to clubs unsupervised. At oh, that's that's one of the things we talked about. We just saw the doc on the Nickelodeon stuff. Like these kids are given such access, and they're sometimes unsupervised, and then, then bad things and then happen. Around and they wonder adults. why they're fucking, you know, in bad shape. I mean, it's just adults take advantage of them, yeah. um, or adults put them in situations, and that's that's really like I, I know Joaquin has spoke about this too, and there have been articles that just show like you you would see them when they're not even old enough to be out and they're you know 16 maybe even younger same thing with like lindsay lohan and paris mm -hmm. hilton and everything these are young women who were not even but they're hot they're on tv and because of that they can go wherever they want and nobody was ever held accountable drew barrymore spoke highly about that and highly explained like you know she actually emancipated herself from mm -hmm. her parents and that happens a lot too but sometimes i get in badly i think 
despite a lot of the things that Amanda Bynes went through, she kind of did the same thing, but that probably would have been better if she had stayed. At least there would have been some structure. And I don't there. think it, I don't think it actually went through because she was trying to emancipate herself to that creepy guy. Yeah. And anyway, then, let's, uh, let's check yeah, out. Yeah, let's get back to the movie. Nature. Sorry. We, this is tangent central. Yeah. So what is this called again? In a violent nature. In a violent nature. So we got some horror aspects. I'm sure. Oh, cool. It's a point to Sundance. A claw? Come on, a shutter. We love our shutter. Nice shot. Put your head in. Animals don't get too hung up on reason. They just keep killing. Interesting, because it looked like a person. I was really thinking it was going to be like a creature. Huh. Yeah, that that looks pretty cool. There's looks like a lot of cool like cinematic shots, like the dawn uh, or the dusk when he's in the forest, and then it's almost got like almost um like almost a mix of like. Uh, the, the the town that dreaded sundown Friday the Thirteenth or uh, other horror elements mm -hmm. in there that we've seen before, which is of uh, the burning and stuff like that. So uh, it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. It's got that look, and it looks like it's just this dude just gonna go killing shit. Just that's all he's gonna be doing. But is it really a dude? Yeah, true. But uh, it's it's got a little mystery to it because we don't really know what the purpose mm -hmm. is here. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. So, yeah, let us know in the comments what you think of this. Um, are you excited for this? Do you have any theories about what's going on? And uh, we'll see you next time. I know coming up, we got a couple more trails we're going to do down the line, maybe a, a movie. Maybe over the weekend. Um, he wants me to see Velvet Goldmine, and I've never seen it, but it has one of my favorite actors in it, which kind of. It's got a lot of good actors. It's got Ellen McGregor. Yeah, Tony Ellen McGregor. Collette. And um, I love Tony Collette, too. So, having. Those two in a movie is is top notch for me. Um, but I wanna I wanna Christian see Bale. That's his boyfriend. <laughs> um, I w I wanna save it for a night that I am not gonna be you know doing taxes. She's gonna do taxes. All right. Well, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if Taxation you enjoy our content. Theft. We su we appreciate the support you give us a lot here. So. Uh, see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your week on Middletown Radio Podcast. Just before you die.